What's up everyone, I'm Tim. This is my channel 40 Times Around where we talk about everything related to motorcycles, camping, travel, and adventure. Currently in Utah, this is part two of a series about me riding my motorcycle around Utah. Uh, I had an absolute blast in the previous episode where I met up with Cody and Vince. Uh, they were on their dirt bikes. We did a little exploring around Valley of the Gods where we camped out behind us and we did a few laps up this right here which is called the Mogi Dugway. It was so much fun and I couldn't get enough of it so I'm back to do one more run up the Mogi Dugway uh, before I head out of town and out of the area. This road, the Mogi Dugway and also Valley of the Gods which we're going to get a view of in a minute were really high up on my list of uh, places I wanted to see and uh, I'm so glad I made the trip down to uh, this part of Utah to see it. It was a little bit out of the way and I was hoping today that we were going to take the ferry across Fry's Canyon from Hall's Crossing to Bullfrog and I'm starting to wonder if there really is even a ferry there because every time I try it's closed. Uh, and I checked the schedule this morning and it said because the water levels are so low it's closed, which I find so hard to believe. Uh, but, but it's closed so we're not going to be taking the ferry so I opted for this instead. Oh, so this... Let's see here. This is Valley of the Gods right here. Well, part of it at least. So, uh, that dirt road, you can see the paved road over here, and then there's a dirt road. That's Valley of the Gods uh, Bed and Breakfast. And then there's a dirt road over here, and it goes on the other side of those, and you're just right up in these mountains, and it's just beautiful. I'm going to stop talking to myself while this car goes by. Never get used to that. Um, anyways, Valley of the Gods is in there. You get up in these rocks, it's it's incredible. And if you ride an adventure bike or a dirt bike, I mean, shoot, you could get out there on a, on a Harley if you really wanted to, just not when it's muddy. Um, you have to put this place on your list of, of places to see. It was phenomenal. It was so much fun. Uh, it's a nice, relatively easy road. Uh, Valley of the Gods, um, nice twisty, a couple of hills, and the scenery is like otherworldly, and you can camp out there in the rocks, it's, it's amazing, you gotta do it. Anyways, we're gonna jump into this episode right after this. We've been hitting some real, real bad weather, and I'm so grateful that, uh, we got these beautiful blue skies. And you know, when I came up here yesterday, I wasn't fully loaded. I, I dumped all my camping gear and everything, so I had a better chance of keeping up with the dirt bike guys. Look at that. Oh yeah. That'll make you dizzy. Oh, wow. Okay, anyways. I dumped all my gear and everything and went light. Try to keep up with the guys on the dirt bikes. That is a little bit different fully loaded I will say uh, and my bike seems to be getting heavier for some reason which is odd because I have gotten rid of some things but obviously I've I've picked up a few things I didn't have when I left this still handles pretty good I just gotta go a little slower the turns are a little harder look at that view <laughs> wow Look at that road over there. Oh, I gotta stop here. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. This place is like a dream. <laughs> and this road continues up there, around, Oh, it's wild. Look at this. <laughs> Look 
at look at all of that look at all that road <laughs> I was I started out that's a tractor uh, like a, a backhoe down there that thing is like huge I and mean, it looks like a little I don't know it looks like a speck <laughs> I mean, this road doesn't even look real. Spectacular. Look at this view you could see so far. <sighs> look at the car. It's crazy. <laughs> so there's a little bit of a gap in what I filmed shortly after the ride up the Mogi Dugway. Basically, Bob was still with me at this point, but he opted for a paved road as I took the Mogi Dugway and we met up later. We rode for the rest of the day and made it pretty close to Capitol Reef, ended up getting a hotel, and after some discussion over dinner, decided that Bob was going to head home a few days early to get ready for his next adventure to go visit family. Unfortunately, I didn't film much of the day and forgot to really turn on the cameras until the next morning. Get home safe, dude. Let me know when you get in, and thank you again for everything. It was fun, man. Good luck. Well, I don't really remember where I left off. So Bob and I just split up. He's heading home to Phoenix. Uh, and I am heading on to Capitol Reef. just crossed into uh, Capitol Reef which is pretty it's an interesting national park because this main route goes right through the middle of it uh, so there's not even a gate anybody could just drive right through it it's amazing how much the scenery changes out here uh, so often it's, it keeps it very interesting it's hard to get bored out here again I see a snow covered mountain over there and something tells me this road is gonna take me right to it weather just won't quit. <laughs> it's so cold up here. I was trying to make it without uh, putting the heated gear on because I, I just passed the summit a few miles ago and I figured when I start coming back down maybe it won't be so bad. My whole face is frozen though. Uh, I have to get the balaclava out and the, the heated vest. Uh, this is just, it's just insane. I just can't believe it. Like, it's the end of May. This is spring in Utah. Anyway, I hope face is numb. 
uh, about 80 miles from Bryce right now. Kind of hoping it warms up a little bit on the way over there. Probably won't though, so I'm gonna get the heated gear on and keep chugging along. <laughs> and managed to avert the snowstorms but uh, definitely regretting coming here on Memorial Day weekend it's just packed solid it's it's so crowded here uh, I think I'm just gonna get a quick picture and uh, head out getting kind of tired. Uh, I think I'm gonna skip trying to get to Zion tonight. Uh, there's a national forest maybe about 50 miles away. I'm gonna find some water and supplies and go set up camp, get some rest. Doesn't even look real. It looks like something you'd see at like Disney World. Like somebody made this out of like concrete or something and then painted it this wild color that would never actually exist in nature <laughs> anyways i'm gonna wrap the video up here i hope you got something out of it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything anyways thanks for watching thanks for coming along for the ride i'll see you guys in the next video ride safe